Hello everyone and welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. Today I'm going to show you some wood DIYs. They could possibly be gift ideas as well for this holiday season, but they are fairly simple, but they look so cute. So getting into our first one, I promise you guys are like, how many of these wood blocks do you have, Sammy? I had quite a bit, but this is the last one and I was going to utilize every single one of them. So this is a, uh, two by 10, I think, or a two by eight. And I'm going to coat the entire block piece with apothecary from DIY paints. After I let that completely dry, we're going to take one of the larger frames from the frames mold. I do have this one in stock and I am going to paint the, the outer side with the apothecary. And I'm going to leave the middle of my frame with the white because we're going to decoupage over that. I'm going to set that aside and now I'm going to take the rose chintz uh, paint and lay. If any of you have been wanting to attempt a paint and lay, but you're like, those are way too expensive to make mistakes with, this is the one for you. They come in complete sheets and you can really, I'm you can't mess up with these because it's a whole sheet of the same print, you know? So definitely if you're wanting to try them, snatch these up and there's tons of sheets, like I said. So for the front of my block, I'm going to coat it with the apothecary once again. I am not putting globs of paint on there. I just want it wet. And then I'm also going to spritz my paint and lay as well. I'm gonna lay that completely over my wood block and press that down. I'm going to spritz it with water once again, and then push that paint and lay down. I should have did it a lot harder than that. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, then I take my heat gun and speed up the drying process, and then you're going to spritz it again. Let that water soak into that paper so it can easily peel back, and then you're going to see the magic happen. Look at how beautiful and detailed that is. Now, Towards the bottom, I didn't push hard enough on that paint and lay, so it didn't transfer. You see that? But that's okay because I'm going to be covering it anyways. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to clear the painted portion of this frame, and I'm going to use the decoupage paper from TDS. I will leave Brandy's link down in the description box. She is a small business. She designs her decoupage paper herself and they're absolutely stunning. I'm gonna use the one of this gal. She's like looking out into the city. I absolutely love it. It's very whimsical and I thought this would be great for somebody that like is a traveler to like give as a gift, you know? So I am going to push my fingernail up into the frame here so that I could get an exact size of where I need to cut so that there's no like guesswork in here. Gosh, her papers are so detailed and so vibrant. I love them so much. So once I get that, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that portion of the decoupage paper out. I'm gonna take my clear liquid patina and I'm gonna coat one half of it. I'm gonna stick my decoupage paper on there and whatever remnant of the liquid patina I have on my brush, I'm gonna use that to push it down. And then I'm going to repeat that same step. So take that liquid patina, coat the frame, and this is why I left it white because I want that image to really pop. And then I am going to do that as well. Once that dries, I'm going to put another coat of the liquid patina on top. Now I'm going to take my white wax and I'm going to stipple that on. I want it to get all into those details. I want it to sit in the crevices. And once I apply a healthy amount of that, I'm just going to take a paper towel and I'm going to wipe back the excess so that it takes it off of like the, the top of the details, but it sets inside the nooks. Now we're going to take some big top and I am going to clear my entire sign. Now make sure when you're using um, paint and lace that you wait. I waited overnight before I painted this because I didn't want to take the chance of smearing the flowers. Once it's completely dry, I take my tight bond and my hot glue. I'm going to set that right there. 
And then I am going to take this like viney, I don't know what it is, stuff along with some twine. I'm gonna wrap the twine around it first and then I am going to finish it off by getting the, the vine and putting that in front and finishing it by stapling it off in the back. And here is how cute this turned out. Look at the details in that paint inlay. And again, you could use those paint inlays more than once. And I wanted to note that I was inspired to create this from this, I think it's Guy Style Studios. And you guys, it came to my attention that some of you do not know that we are being blessed with our fourth baby Veltri handpicked for Earth by my uncles and sibling in heaven. And um, I wanted to announce this because some people were like, I did not know you were pregnant. So, ta-da! <laughs> All right. For this next one, I think this is a one by three. Sorry, I didn't do measurements in this video. I'm taking blue iris, which is very a bold color. And I'm gonna paint the front, the back, and the sides of our base with that. Then I'm gonna take these trimmings. I get these at Menards, but you could get them at Home Depot as well. And I'm going to take both pieces of my trimmings and also paint those in blue iris. For my base I, and my trimming, I am going to go ahead and clear that with Big Top and we'll finish those off in a minute. And for the like sign part of our DIY, I'm going to fully coat that with faded burlap. I didn't really know what I was doing with these colors, you guys. I was just playing around. I thought they would go. We'll see. All right, now with the trimmings, I'm gonna put some dark wax in it because I want it to sit into the um, detail so that it just pops a little bit more. And then I'm going to attach the bottom trim to the bottom of the base or side of the base, front of the base. Gosh, I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go, you see it. <laughs> as long as you see it and you're picking up what I'm putting down, that's all that matters. Okay, so. I am using one of the floral pieces from, I think it's the Melage. I don't know how to pronounce any of the IOD stuff. <laughs> and I used the blue China ink, but once I lifted it off, I realized that it did not match the blue iris paint I used and it was driving me nuts. So I cleaned my stamp off and then I applied the black ink and I layered it over and it, it was a lot better than the blue. So you still see like the little hints of blue underneath the black ink, but it was better. Now, I kind of messed up because what I should have done, I wanted to put mom across this like horizontally, but because my, I laid that flower stamp on there first, there would be no way of you like distinctly noticing that it said mom. So I had to improvise and I ended up taking the lower case letters and putting mom on the right side. So to have done it the other way, I should have laid down my letters, masked them, and then put the floral print over it. And then as a little added like surprise, I wanted to put I love you on the back. So if like you know, your mom was unwrapping this or something, she would see the front and be like, oh my gosh, how cute, this is so pretty. But then like when she went to go set it down or something, she would see that little, you know, note to her that says, I love you, which I thought was sweet. All right, now I'm just going to attach the sign to the base. I'm not gonna use nails for this. I did not wanna take the chance of not being accurate and then shooting my nail through the front of this sign. And there we are. But that blue iris was just so bright that I tried to get some of the dark wax and put that on the base as well to kind of like dull it down a little bit. But you guys tell me what you think. I don't know if I love this color combo together. And I think what throws me off on here, because of course we're our own worst critics, but the base I think is too large for the sign. What do you guys think on this one? Cause there's something just not working for me. And I don't know if it's the color combo or if it's because the base is too large for the sign. So comment down below. 
Okay, I found tons of these at the Goodwill bins. And you guys told me on a Facebook Live that that foam stuff was because back in the day, people used the Gorilla Foam Glue to attach things. So that's what that is. It's not like just like a dirty, nasty something, but I could not get it off. I tried like cutting it so you couldn't see it. No. So we're going to use this transfer, you guys. You know those things like I've heard people pronounce the name of this transfer and it's so easy, but I look at it and I cannot pronounce it. It's like Elysium or something, but I do have it available. It's in stock. <laughs> so I am going to take a uh, little black dress and I'm going to do a messy coat on this. Now, whoever made these did a great job because they will never break apart. And the clip on the top, when I was thinking of this DIY, I wanted to put two clips on top because this piece of wood's so big, it can fit like an eight by 10 or like a big piece of like paper that has a recipe on it but that clip would not come off. So I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna go with it and hopefully somebody will love it and you know, they'll have a vision for it after it's done. So I painted the entire thing and the sides and now that I'm looking at it, I should probably paint the back cause then at least it covers the ugly foam. Now I'm going to take one of the sheets. This transfer comes with four sheets. I already used two of them. Um, and right here, I'm going to cut down the middle for now where that clip is. And then as I started working the transfer, I realized it was going to be easier for me to start from the bottom and come up on that clip. So I am just pushing my transfer down and lifting the transfer sheet. As you can see right here, I had to cut around that clip, but after it was completely off, what I did was take the remnants of little like pink flowers that were left and I tried to fill that space. You can see how I'm trying to like fill the black where the transfer maybe didn't reach and I put those there. Then I'm just going to clear this with some big top and you can see how stunning this transfer is. And you can use this transfer as one big piece I used two pieces on a bench that I did during the summer. And then these two pieces you can see I can, I can use for other things. And I love it against the black. It looks gorgeous. Now, this is how it turned out. Let me know what you guys would use it for. I think it would look absolutely beautiful with like a family eight by 10 photo on it. Um, but if you guys have other ideas, let me know. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I know my videos have been a little shorter, but I appreciate y'all watching nonetheless. I have a little message for you at the end here. Thank you all so much and have a beautiful weekend with your friends and family. Hey everyone, I am popping in because so many of you have been reaching out and checking on me and I appreciate y'all so, so very much. I am hanging in there. As I said in the last video, I am just battling some intense nausea and it's throughout the entire day, not just the morning. Um, we did go see the doctor and I will pop a little picture up of our peanut. Literally, the baby looks exactly <laughs> like a big peanut right now. Um, and the doctor said that the baby's measuring at seven weeks in one day. Um, he said that the nausea is a really good sign that the baby's going to stick around this time. So that is great. And then he suggested to take, um, vitamin B6 before bed, which I did last night. And it actually did help with the nausea, like in the evening while, like while I was sleeping and the nausea as I was waking up. So that was a huge plus. Um, and uh, he was really awesome. And since we miscarried around the 12 week mark last time, he told us that we could come in whenever we want to take a look um, to ensure that the heartbeat's still there because we did see its little fluttering heartbeat, which was really cool. So I just wanted to update you guys. Um, it's still a struggle 
to get motivated and go downstairs just because all I feel is sick no matter, you know, if I'm sitting down, standing up. So I'm trying my best. I know the things that I'm putting out right now aren't as detailed as I usually get with things or not as many DIYs as I usually do, but I'm putting out what I'm capable of and, you know, what I'm still proud of. So just hang tight with me. Um, I might be putting out, depending on how I feel, towards the end of December, some um, older videos, like compilation videos. So if you'd like to support us, then please watch those videos, even if you've already seen them. Um, every every view helps. So um, thank you guys so much. Thank you for those of you that have checked in on me. I appreciate you so much. And hopefully I will be back on Tuesday. Bye, you guys.